Here we have a Skoda Superb 67 plate, uh, Laurent Clement. Um, doing best to point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So we we'll start with the front right alloy and tyre here. Um, the alloy is in really good shape, can't really see anything wrong with that at all. You've just got a bit of corrosion on the centre cap there, which is something uh, you do get. And on the front right tyre here, you've got loads of tread, you've got just over 6mm of tread on there. Now coming around the right hand side, and that's all in good shape. That's all good. And you've got the back right alloy in tyre here as well. And you've got a continental tyre on the back right. And overall that alloy again in very good shape as well. And you've just got a little bit of corrosion just around the centre cap as well. And you've got on this one, so on the back right we've got just over 5mm of tread, which is plenty. Now coming around the back of the Skoda Superb here, and that's all in good condition as well. Uh, the only thing on the back, uh, this is probably the worst bit, even then it's not that bad in my opinion for a four year old car. Uh, you've got a few little light scratches here, a little bit more of one there, and just a couple of very small stone chips. If I stand about a metre away, you can see just how small they actually are. And if I just open the electronic tailgate there, then that's, that all works as it should. Of course, you've got your rear parcel shelf as well. And then you've got the got an inflation kit in there as well with this one. And you've just got a couple of little light scratches just on the plastic there, which is worth just pointing out. But that all works as it should. Now coming around the back left-hand side of a Skoda here, that's all in good shape as well. And you've got the back left alloy and tyre here. Again, another continental tyre on the back left. And that alloy as well is in, you know, pretty much pristine condition. And you've got just a bit of uh, corrosion on the centre cap again there. But otherwise, it's all good. And you've got just over 5mm of tread, so still plenty of tread on there. Now coming around the left-hand side, and that's all good. And you've got the front left alloy and tyre here as well. And overall, that alloy is in good shape. This is usually the alloy uh, that gets damaged the most on most cars, just in general. And you have got um, a few little scuffs just on the outer edge of this one, uh, but nothing too sort of drastic. Obviously, it's something you will get. And on the front left tyre here, you've got again uh, nearly six and a half mil of tread on that one there. Now coming around the front here, so of course you've got your front parking sensors. So I think that's just a yeah, that's just a bit of a, just a bit of a mark there. And the bonnet as well, free from any major sort of chips or anything. I mean there's a couple, couple of very, very small ones. Obviously that is something you will get with a car that's a few years old. But otherwise that's all pretty good. And you've got a couple couple little chips there and just a few there as well but otherwise that's all good and the windscreen free from any major chips or cracks or anything like that now if i just come inside just be easier to i'll just show you so you've got the front right door here overall that's in good shape and you have got two keys as well Show you the driver's seat here. There you go. So you've got the Laurent Clement stitching there as well. And this leather seat, that's all in really good shape. Just got a little bit of wear on the bolster, which is something you do get with the age of the car. And you have got the electric memory seats as well. And as you can see, that's all running exactly as it should be. And you've got the mileage on there, 38,758 miles. Um, that's all good. Of course, you've got your cruise control, you've got your automatic lights just down there, and you've got this as well. So, the Apple CarPlay that's all working, yeah, we've tested that as well. And of course, if you put it into reverse, you have got the rear view camera there, and the front and rear parking sensors does come up on the screen. And your heated seats, it's in very good condition overall. Just got a light scratch on the uh, on the centre console there and the passenger leather seat here 
that's all good and you've got the front left door it's in really good condition on the inside and all that is exactly as it should be now if I just show you into the back of the car as well so you've got the back right door there and that's all good and the back of the driver's seat really lovely spec on this one and you've got the uh, heated seats in the back here as well and um, the back of that front left seat and the back left door and that's all good and then the rear seats here and generally they're all in good condition but you have just got a bit of a uh, it's not it's not actually gone through the leather uh, but it's just a bit of a scratch uh, just on the leather there which is worth pointing out and otherwise that's all in really really good condition and of course you have got the ice fix fittings just in the bottom of those seats there and there we go that's the 67 plate Skoda Superb Laurent Clement overall in very good condition with a few marks that you expect to get on a four-year-old car thanks for watching